The globe is set to start drying out dramatically, if global warming isn't stopped. That's the message from a new environmental study published by the journal Nature Climate Change. Over 25% of Earth will start experiencing the effects of aridification by the year 2050, if humans don't meet the changes proposed by the Paris Climate Agreement. The study claims that if the Earth's average temperature goes up by 2 degrees Celsius over the next 32 years, the planet will start to become a desert. At least half a million people will die in the year 2050 as a result of the impact climate change will have on food production, according to experts. The stark forecast is expected to occur because of changes in diet and body weight from reduced crop productivity. In particular, this will include reductions in fruit, vegetables, and red meat amounting to about 99 kilocalories fewer calories per person per day. Rising sea levels caused by global warming are set to dramatically boost the frequency of coastal flooding by 2050. Tropical regions will be the worst hit, and researchers forecast a 10 to 20 centimeter 4 to 8 inch jump in the global ocean watermark by mid-century. Major cities along the North American seaboard such as Vancouver, Seattle, San Francisco and Los Angeles, along with the European Atlantic coast, would be highly exposed, the researchers say. Air pollution is expected to kill more than six and a half million people a year worldwide by 2050, twice the current number, a study has found. The premature deaths are due to two key pollutants, fine particulates known as PM2.5 seconds, and the toxic gas nitrogen dioxide, both produced by diesel cars, lorries and buses. Glacier loss of anywhere from 20 to 25 percent would mean less cold water making its way into river systems, placing significant stress on species of fish, such as bull trout and salmon, that are sensitive to changes in temperature, and aquatic ecosystems in general within the next two decades. The world will spend 90 trillion on infrastructure, transforming cities, energy systems and landscapes. We get to decide now, whether we spend that 90 trillion on damaging, backward looking more of the same or shift our energy, transport, agriculture and consumption to radically new pathways that can be sustained. This is the only way we can ensure that our mid-century world gives all people a shot at a dignified life while safeguarding the planet's natural wealth. By 2050, 2.5 billion people are expected to move to the world cities. The growing global middle class will strain natural resources. Entrenched poverty will be increasingly concentrated in areas already experiencing conflict, fragility and resource degradation. Just eight years from now in 2025, 1.8 billion people will live in regions that lack sufficient water. Recognizing that 2050 is now means taking responsibility for avoiding conditions that will yield tomorrow's poverty and exacerbate inequality within nations and across regions.